Somewhere about 750 light years from your sofa, there's a planet so black it makes coal look reflective. Another world is quite seriously part diamond. While on a third, ice is literally on fire and somehow refuses to melt. Hiding deeper in the catalog is a rocky globe that looks suspiciously like home. Fancy a tour of some of the strangest planets in the universe? Well, stay tuned. When most of us imagine a planet, we picture a ball of rock somewhat like Earth, or a gas giant like Jupiter, circling quietly around a star. Reality is much stranger. Astronomers have logged thousands of exoplanets, and some of them feel less like astronomy and more like someone misread a science fiction script and built it anyway. Let's begin with Gliese 436b. Picture a world made largely of ice, but the ice is burning at hundreds of degrees. The exoplanet's surface temperature has been measured at around 439 degrees Celsius, far above any normal melting point for ice or boiling point for water. Yet a huge amount of its water stays in a solid state. How? Gravity. Gliese 436b has such an intense gravitational pull that when its water is heated and would normally boil away, it gets crushed instead. The water is forced into an exotic high pressure forms of ice that stays solid even while the planet bakes. So you end up with something like a flaming snowball that refuses to melt. Now swap that burning snowball for the universe's ultimate swimming pool, GJ1214b. This planet sits about 47 light years from us and is so dominated by water that many scientists casually call it a water world. Stand on the surface and there's no coastlines, no islands, nothing but one endless global ocean stretching in every direction. Dive down and that ocean goes on for miles. Eventually you'd reach the planet's core where the pressure becomes ridiculous. Down there, the water is squeezed into a dense solid form. This isn't the frosty stuff in your freezer. It's a special phase called Ice 7, formed not by cold, but by sheer pressure. GJ1214b gives you an endless sea on top and at the center, a block of compressed ultra hot ice. If your brain is already twitching, next is the universe goth planet, TRES2b. This gas giant lurks around 750 light years from our solar system and currently holds the title of the darkest planet that we know. It reflects less than 1% of the starlight that hits it. That's darker than almost any other exoplanet we've ever seen. The atmosphere seems to be packed with gases that soak up light instead of bouncing it away. But the exact recipe is still a mystery. It's scorching too. The temperature is around 1100 degrees C, hot enough that the planet itself glows a dull red like a lump of metal fresh from a forge. From pitch black, let's jump into pure sparkle. About 40 light years from Earth orbits 55 Cancri E, often nicknamed the diamond planet. It's roughly twice Earth's size, and models suggest that around a third of the entire world is made of solid diamond. The planet is extremely rich in carbon, and under immense pressure inside, that carbon crystallizes into diamond instead of ordinary rock. Before you mentally plan a heist though, there are two problems. First, 40 light years is an absolutely not a quick trip. Second, if you somehow ferried home even a tiny fraction of a planet made of diamond, you completely crash a diamond market. So for now, 55 Cancri E is best treated as cosmic decor. Lovely to think about, terrible for anyone trying a jewelry heist. In the UK, it seems to rain all the time. But if you ever find yourself moaning about a bit of rain, remember HD 189773B. At first glance, it looks like a rivally lovely, rich blue world reminiscent of Earth when imaged from afar. That color isn't from the friendly oceans, it's from an atmosphere laced with tiny particles of silicon. And the planet is so hot that these particles condense into shards of glass. Those glass fragments are then whipped around the globe with winds reaching roughly 4,000 miles per hour. So yes, HD 189773b is quite literally raining glass. And the wind pushes that glass sideways at hypersonic speeds. Umbrellas wouldn't help here, this is whether you only want to meet in simulations. Then there's WASP-12b, a planet having an even worse time. This gas giant orbits its star so closely that it's being physically stripped apart. The world is roughly comparable in mass to Jupiter, but the brutal heat from its nearby star has caused the atmosphere to puff up, making it appear much larger than a typical gas giant. The temperatures are so extreme and the orbit's so tight, that the star is actively pulling matter off the planet. WASP-12b is losing about 6 billion metric tons of material every second. Over time, the tug of war distorts the planet into an elongated egg shape instead of a tidy sphere. 
It's the cosmic equivalent of a marshmallow hotel close to a campfire for too long. Some worlds are so strange not because they're deadly, but because they make theorists frown. WASP-17b, found in the constellation Scorpius, is one of those. It's about 1.9 times the size of Jupiter, which is already the biggest planet in our solar system. For a gas giant, that's huge. So large that for a while, its existence pushed the upper limits of what astronomers thought possible for a planet. Despite its size, WASP-17b has a remarkably low density. Spread all that mass through a giant balloon of atmosphere, and you get something extremely puffed up. In fact, it belongs to a real scientific category called puffy planets, worlds with an enormous radius compared to how much material they actually contain. As if that weren't enough, WASP-17b orbits the wrong way around, moving around its star in the opposite direction to the star's rotation. For a planetary system, that's an astronomical equivalent of driving the wrong way around a roundabout. If that seems odd, try building a stable system with three suns. Around 149 light years away lies a triple star system, HD 188753, and within it, a planet designated HD 188753 AB. This world doesn't have just one star to circle, or even a pair. Like a certain desert planet from a famous film, it has three. And if you could stand on its surface, you'd cast multiple shadows on the ground, one for each star. Those suns would weave around each other in the sky, producing frequent eclipses as they pass in front of one another. Sunrises and sunsets there wouldn't be simple. They'd be complex light shows of shifting colors and overlapping disks. Not every strange world is all fire, glass, and jewels. Some are unsettling because they sit just close enough to normal that you could imagine living there. If you're very careful, Gliese 518c is one of the best known examples. Among the exoplanets we've spotted, it's ranked by many researchers as one of the top three most promising places for alien life. Gliese 518c orbits a red dwarf star, so the daylight sky there wouldn't be blue. It would glow deep red, as if you were standing under a permanent sunset. The planet is also tidally locked, like our moon. One hemisphere constantly faces the star, and the other is permanently turned away. This creates an extreme split personality. The day side is so intensely hot, a human on the surface would quickly be reduced to a puddle. The far side sits in endless night, cold enough that you'd freeze in moments. And yet right in between those two extremes lies a narrow twilight band, the so-called Terminator region. In that strip, the temperature could be just right for liquid water, and in theory, for life. Step too far towards the sun and you burn. Wander too far into the dark and you'd freeze. It's a world where civilization, if exists, would literally live on a knife edge. Back on Earth, we've already tried saying hello. In 2008, a directed message was sent out of our planet towards Gliese 581c, traveling at the speed of light. That signal is expected to arrive in the year around 2029. Somewhere out there, a world of crimson sky will finally start receiving a ping from a small blue planet. We have no idea if anyone or anything will be listening. We'll finish with a planet that's strange, not because it's wildly hostile, but because it might be friendly. About 470 light years away, discovered by the Kepler Space Observatory in 2015, is a world known as Kepler-438b. On paper, it looks uncannily familiar. Astronomers use something called Earth Similarity Index, a scale running from zero to one, to rate how Earth-like another world appears. A score of one would be identical to Earth in key properties, while zero would be utterly alien. Kepler-438b scores about 0.88 on that scale, making it arguably the most Earth-like planet we've identified at this point. Why the high score? First, Kepler-438b is a rocky planet, not a ball of gas, so it has a solid surface like ours. Second, it orbits its star in what scientists call the Goldilocks zone, a region where it's neither so close that water would boil away, nor so far that everything would be locked in ice. Liquid water is a key ingredient for life as we understand it, and this kind of orbit is where liquid water is most likely to survive. Put those ingredients together, a solid surface, a comfortable distance from its star, and the right conditions for liquid water and you'd get a world that might, just might, host life. Kepler-438b doesn't glow red like Trez 2 b It doesn't rain glass. And as far as we know, it isn't made of diamond. Its weirdness comes from an uneasy feeling that on some distant sunset, there could be someone looking back, wondering if they're alone. So that's our hop through some of the strangest planets humanity has ever seen. Worlds of burning ice, sideways glass storms, planet-sized jewels, and rocky twins hiding in the just right zone our solar system suddenly feels almost tame by comparison. If you could visit exactly one of these worlds safely with a guaranteed return ticket, which one would you pick and why? And which kind of planet fascinates you more? The ones that try very hard to kill you or the ones that quietly resemble our home just a little too much? Thanks for watching.